I suppose that from your perspective, it appears that we're the other, we're the ones inside the monitor. <laughs> but that's where you're wrong. <laughs> For it is you who are inside. Your reality is nothing but lies and shadows. Naturally, that includes you too. Now back to... Last time I played this game, and I can't hear anything in the sound thing, but maybe it's working now. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let's continue the story of Steins Gate. Unless, it, unless this is just it, it put together and you can't hear my voice at all. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> AD 2010. Yes, I do hear the sound this time. Yes. <sighs> Finally. Uh, they're gone. And it wasn't just the people on the street. The people in the stores, gone. In the restaurants, gone. Even the cars vanished, drivers and all. It all happened in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Suddenly an empty sea spreads before me. <laughs> Heat was rising from the asphalt and waves, but I felt only a cold chill. Down my spine. <sighs> then wandering through the deserted Akaba, Akib I saw a satellite smashed into the rooftop of Radio Khan. <coughs> <coughs> I just stood there, breathless, until... What's wrong? Miri's voice brought me back to reality. Miri hadn't disappeared. Everyone disappeared just now, right? Right? Am I going crazy? You saw it too, right? Didn't you? Just now, before our very eyes? Did you see it, Miyuri? You saw it, right? Right? Hmm, huh? Stop shaking me, Ukarin! Shake, shake, shake. Maybe she's getting a headache. Head bobbing. I didn't see anything. We this is fun. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> You didn't? <laughs> you saw nothing? Nothing at all? There were people here a second ago. Weren't there? <coughs> oh, weren't there? There were... <coughs> There were. So 
れに定位まで消えているこんなことはいくらなんでもありえない Even the storm police are gone. That's impossible. By any measure. Of course they're gone, silly! Her reply didn't make any sense. Tonica, eh? Could she laugh at time like this? I thought she was a bit strange, but maybe her brain is actually broken. I realized that she couldn't help me. No r e t u r n I looked up at the bright blue sky. Naturally, my eyes drifted up to the top floor of Radio Can, where I had been just a moment before. There it was, the w o r s t machine. It's a kind of satellite embedded in the roof of the building. The same building where just moments before I had found m a k i s Caruso's body in a pool of blood. What, ha what happened to her? Has anyone called an ambulance? Before everyone disappeared, I could have sworn I heard an ambulance siren. Keith must still be in that dark room, cold, blood, bloody, and alone. The thoughts disturbed me, but the question of, at the forefront of my mind was. So, 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 Right before Nakabati's presentation, the building was shaken by a unknown force. The, the roof door lock had been broken, and uh, beyond it sat a large satellite like machine. That's right, when I saw it, the, the object was neatly seen on the rooftop. That's not what I, I was seeing now. The satellite had penetrated the top floor of the building. It looks like it, as if it had completely obliterated, <laughs> obliterated the room where Dr. Nakabasi's press conference had been held. Must have fallen out of orbit without burning up in the atmosphere somehow. I knew it was crazy, but what other explanation was, could there be? The real question was when did that happen? When? Ray,、uh, Ray, about that satellite? Yep! What a surprise, huh? What, what do you mean? What 
was a surprise. It made a huge kapow sound. It certainly did make a sound, but I don't think it was kaplow. I'd say it was more like zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Having come to a satisfactory conclusion, I take a celebrity bottle of Dr. P, my favorite soda, from the fridge. Ah, elixir intellectuals, a drink fit for a genius. Kills better. I pity the man who knows not the greatness of this beverage. Step to the curtain, Divine, its center, and you'll enter the heart of the Future Gadget Laboratory, a top secret development room restricted only to lab members. <coughs> Personally, I'm not fond of this cheap curtain. I also dream of a replacement with an airlock, but our research budget is already scraping the bottom of the barrel. Besides, what's important isn't money, it's ambition. Although windows here are weather stripped with packing tape, so it's dim. And hot, almost like a, sun, a sauna. I've been wanting to buy air conditioning for the lab, but there's no money for that. We're currently accepting donations. Daru. Daru, is the plan progressing smoothly? Eh? What plan? <laughs> I guess this is my Daru voice. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. I sigh and turn the tits into the table in the middle of the room. Sitting majestically on top of the table is, is a commercial grade microwave oven. It's definitely larger than the newer home models. Microwave oven. A cooking appliance which heats food by burning with microwaves. Originally called the, the radar, radar, radar range. Radar range? Radar range. The microwave was invented when a radar technician actually discovered that electrical waves could warm food. Afterward, researchers continued. The consumer appliance version was launched in America in 1947. It emits electromagnetic waves at frequently of 2.45 gigahertz. This is a special frequency known as ISM band. It was also used by wireless LAN devices. Consumer grade yeah, Output is around 500 to 1,000 watts, while commercial grade output is around 1,500 to 2,000 watts. <coughs> the plan, as in the, the plan, duh. Obviously, I'm talking about perfecting gadget number eight. Ah, Oh, that. How's I supposed to know what you meant? We've been here for, what, three years now? We went to high school together, and now we're going to the same university. We share, we share an inseparable bond. Like prison cellmates, he's only been a lab member for two months, though. <laughs> we were in different classes junior year, and actually we didn't talk at all, so, uh, two years? <laughs> Details and details, my good man. 
The point is, we've been knowing each other for a long time. I expect you to keep up with me here. それは無理 N O P E and nope. Yeah, I guess this is my. I guess this is my nerdy voice. Uh. Man, all I wanted to do was have one of those cool cryptic conversations. We talk about plans and preparations and other important telling stuff, but no one, no one knows what it means except us. So, are we able to figure out what was wrong gadget number eight? Yeah, mother. Not yet. So far, the feature gadget laboratory has completed a total of eight inventions. <coughs> As I explained to Alpaca Man, the lab's primary goal was to deliver weapon, develop weapons for the war against the Dark Dominion, led by the organization. Organization 13! Xehanort. That rules the world from the shadows. At present, we haven't completed any inventions of that sort. On the contrary, we haven't even figured out what we should make. Along the way, we have managed to create some interesting in futurist gadgets as a byproduct of our research. It's a fundamental truth of science that great inventions are often created by accident. In other words, serendipity. The ability to discover something valuable while looking for something else. My favorite oven was born through serendipity. So far, they total eight in number. Gadget number one at the bit particle gun. Gadget number one. Very first gadget number gadget of toy ray gun with a TV remote jammed inside. You can change the channels by pointing it at the TV and point, pulling the trigger. However, only this channel, the only support button is channel plus. None of the buttons select volume are usual. Turn the TV on. You must manually flip the switch on the TV. Its name, its name, is a reference to the classic Japanese robot mobile jacket, gun, mobile jacket gun bam. Huh. I wonder what that could be, be reference to. Number <laughs> two, the bamboo helicam. Oh. Okay, I can I can use that to make a uh, I guess I can use that to make a I wanted to make a thumbnail. Okay, <laughs> you got number two, a CD a CCD camera mounted to a bamboo toy helicopter. The camera is attached to a helicopter fulcrum, lined that record aerial footage and powered. However, the aerial image is rotating at high speed. So I get dizzy if you keep looking at. It originated from the sci-fi manga 22 Emon. Oh, they put it, oh, they put it on the, the the blade itself. Wow, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting this. Yeah. Could this be an or 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 or? Oh, God. Light detector based on the thumb perspiration, though it might be more appropriate to call it a sweat detector. Yet to admit it's a pretty clever invention. It's name refer it's a reference to the classic manga Juju's Bizarre Adventure. Number four, Love Snake. An instant super in the fire using electronic heating coils that quickly boils a large volume of water. It generates enough steam to fill a room of 12 square meters, though it can only be operated continuously for a few seconds. It's like a Claymore landmine with appeals to military Okaku, Ataku. The name was a reference to this stealth action game, Metal Moa Solid Rising. Number 
five. Once again, I've made a worthless object by Gilamon. That's a long name. Trade by combing a, combining a dryer and a vacuum. Dryer is operated using the exhaust of the vacuum. Its, it's name is referenced to the popular anime Lupence the Third. Yeah, no idea what that is. No idea what some of these animes are. Like this one, for example. Number six, the Crystal Line Saber. <coughs> Feature guide number six, a red chemical glow stick with a handle attached, uh, allowing it to grip it like a sword. Made it possible not only with Feature Gadget laboratory hardware, but also the chemical knowledge inspired by Spark Wars, a series of epic sci fi movies. Spark Wars. <coughs> oh. With Spark Vader. Not to be fused with Spark Trek. Or they trek sparks throughout the universe. And number seven, Ghost in the Ball. I got it created by the arranging 12. Six, 12, 12, six inch CRT monitors in our sphere. Small see most cameras are installed in the gaps between the monitors. It's connected to the monitors on the opposite sides of the sphere. The attempt at the practical optical camouflage is the greatest effort to like feature, feature gadgets. But sheer size makes it difficult to store. Anyway, our current problem is, is future gadget number eight, the phone wave. Name time to change. <coughs> phone wave is a pretty weak name, so I just added saying this up to change the end of until we come up to something better. For the record, it was Muir's idea, not mine. By the grass. The phone wave name something change is, in short, a remote-controlled microwave. A few years ago, however, we discovered that the, the phone wave name something change had a second additive uh, capability. <coughs> Our brave, or perhaps just ditzy, Mayuri had, had made it her, her daily routine to heat some frozen chick fried chicken by remote control. Long story short, she was defrosting her beloved juicy chicken number one as usual when, when unexpected happened. The chicken came out more frozen than, it, than once she put it in. The microwave refroze the chicken. There a color. I mean, I have this now. Maybe. Maybe not, I can't tell. Maybe that's my eyesight. Bear in mind, the red chicken has almost fallen to the, t the time she placed it in the front wave and ends up to change. But when she removed it, it was frozen solid. Since then, Darwin and I have been searching for the cause. We tried copying what Mayushi did, but we couldn't reduce the freezing phenomena. And when we tried to freeze a banana, it turned out really weird. I just don't get it. Mayuri! Mayuri! Kokoni banana omote! Mayuri! Mayuri! Bring forth the bananas! Mata get a banana Are you gonna turn into the, the chill bananas again? My car kini nate take the sama you see. Get a banana to the axana de kunai? That's been bugging me, May Mayushi. Can you stop calling them Jabanas? 
But Chobanas are Chobanas. Whatever. Get moving. Why is use the whole bunch? It's a waste of food. I take the bananas from Mayuri and stick them in the whole bunch into the phone wave. Name, sub name subject to change. Water. Your stingy, your stinginess, your stink, your st stinginess could cost us the, the battle of the organization. That's fine of me. Mayushi always buys the bananas, and now Mayushi can't eat a single one. Nine. Next time, we only do it one banana. The fun way to say it, the chains is simple to use. It's a microwave with a phone tapped on. The number is already in my address book. I just need to call the phone wave. I waste no time. Ring, ring, ring. And to the phone call, ring, 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 ring. The call connects in an instant. This is the voice of Mayushi Guidance, the system diary program to operate the phone wave. Do you hear Mayushi's voice? Be quiet, I'm trying to listen. After pushing the pound button, please enter the eating time in seconds. For example, please press pound 60 for one minute. For two minutes, press pound 120. Entering the command properly will cause the phone wave things have to change to function like a normal microwave. Instead, we're gonna deliberately mess up and enter 120, 20, enter 120 pound. That should do it. This method was originally a simple mistake on Miyushi's part, but it somehow started the freezing process. The phone wave, names of the chains, come to life, and bananas go around and 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 around. <laughs> nice turntable, right? Not turntable, right? It's even spinning backwards. Backwards? That might have considerably if, if we look at quantum critical behavior driven by 
Huns rule. Huns rule. The, the rule government, the rule governing the placement of atoms electron, electrons. Orbitals of the same energy are each filled with one electron and at the same spin before they are filled with a second. Also known as Huns rule of maximum multiplicity. Science. Science six, six, science sixty nine, sixty nine. That's loud. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, no. Not Huns rule. No. Okay. The three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas as they go around and around and around and around and around and around. And around. Around seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Ding! Jill bananas are ready! Ew, gross! Ew, gross! Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Ugh, God. Mm. After me, you're... Ugh. Ugh. Uh, we sickly even look at him. <coughs> after after me, you already discovered the fun waves names have to change how the freezer function. He attempted the freezer. <coughs> A bunch of... <coughs> God. <coughs> 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 Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. After my area scared the fun wave names have to change. Really function to the freeze bunch of bananas. This is what happened. Ugh. 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 It just gets more confusing each time. Ugh. Ugh. Dar, you wouldn't mind eating one of these, would you? Of course you wouldn't. It's for science. The sacrifice will, will forever be remembered. Mm. Mm. Lock the, lock the TV in my hand. They look, they look really nasty. They look really nasty. Yeah, I don't have a good dar voice. This uh. doesn't matter. What matters is that you eat it. So come on, dar, not to be shy. Break a leg or a stomach, and go for it. You done it. No, no way. Fine, fine. Miyuri, the honor shall be yours. But your banners are all gloopy, droopy, soft, and squishy. Oh, wait, she already tried one? This girl's ditchiness is truly on another level. It had no flavor. It wasn't tasty at all. Gloop, gloopy, droopy, sauce and twisty. Daru, what do you think? Bunyu bunyu no banana. Soft and squishy bananas. Soft and squishy bananas, huh? Soft and squishy banana. Mayushi, anata no banana. Bunyu bunyu da ne te ikte mite. Mayushi, say your bananas all soft and squishy for me. 
Uh, not doing the nose. Uh, not doing the nose thing from the original one, I guess. Japanese all soft and. You must in the table, guy. Don't say that, you perv. And the original one, I guess they had her, her uh, his nose bleeding. In any case, we got nothing we can do about it now. It's time for Daru and I to head to Darabu. A skyscraper of offices and a com commerce center up up opened alongside UPX in 2003. Connected to UPX by overpass. They're Abu. They're Abu. They're Abu. <coughs> There's going to be a cinema at ATF. We have, to, we have to be there. ATF. Ak Akabaru Technical Forum. Meeting Hall. Until located inside. They're Abu. They have that debut. Several universities and research institutions hold special seminars there. Tokyo Dinky University, where Dara and I go to school, collaborates with ATF satellite classes. Summer credits, summer credits, basically. We have to attend the seminar and write a report. Come to think of it, what's today's seminar about again? <laughs> I looked it up before the sem seminar holidays began. I should I should have written it down, but nah, why do that? Cause I'm a I'm a genius. <laughs> Behind me is the large invite object that crashed in the building near Akabara Station. The, bu the building appears to be is under police barricade. No one is allowed to approach, but from a distance, the object appears to be some kind of satellite. Messages. Ah. Oopa. It's from Mayuri. You know, I'm really upset about dropping my oopa. It's worse than last year when I, I miss buying fat, fatty gyro frog. Huh. If I'm to every lost a second of a message and a waste of time, I should pick just pick one topic to respond to, or maybe I won't reply at all. Uh. <laughs> okay, try Kira Froggy. That's from the that's the one from last year, right? I thought you weren't interested. There, that should do it. Man for the AC. I'm a man for the AC. I'm alive. Unlike the lab, Darabu has an interesting look at and it's for poor students like us. Yet yet another reason for our to our presentation in the seminar. <laughs> But the fun wave ends up to change. I might have found our answer. You know that name that 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 name something to change. It's really annoying. I don't give any I don't give in that easily. Even though other lab members use names up name something to change. I will carry on to the day we decide its true name. Now's not the time. I'm 
お得意のとんでも理論でもひらめいちゃったん<笑> So, what's your ridiculous latest, what's your latest ridiculous theory? 何を言うか<笑> What do you mean ridiculous? この世の真羅万象すら超越したあらゆる可能性について思考を巡らせているのだとんでもとか言うな What do you mean ridiculous? My, gen my genius brain considers every possibility, even those of a lesser mind would, would dare, would say, would say break the laws of nature. Don't, let, don't you dare call that ridiculous. <laughs> so basically, you're just pulling stuff out of, your, out, of, out of your ass. You can't call that science. Stop interrupting me at this rate. Uh, I'll never get to my point. Dario, they were in Jacob Cario, Stein's Gate or Hiraku Kagida to Yukira Sermodaga. Dario, I have a hunch that the phone wave in terms of the change may be the key to opening Stein's Gate. <coughs> How's that? So no Stein Nanto got the Tokoro Karaste, Imi Humena Wake Daga. Stein's what? He left me back ridiculous, man. <laughs> let me share my let me share my revelation about the phone with names of the chains. Damn you. My brilliant ideas will clarify no purchase with Daru. We'll clearly find no purchase with Daru. Time to change the topic. <laughs> So you're telling me you have no interest in checking out Radi Radi Radicon? 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 どうせ言っても見られないっしょ。もちろんネットに上がってくる情報にはほぼ目を通してるのだぜ。あっとちゃんのスレ数100超えたし、勢いすげえ。I won't get to see anything anyways. Besides, most of the info, info out, out on net already. That's more than 100 threads on that channel. It's nuts, dude. But when I asked him about if there's any information about Makisi Crucio on that channel. <coughs> that again. What do you mean? Again? I mean, you said that. I mean, you sent that email to me like a week ago, right? I, I, I sent you an email? Don't be ridiculous! I saw her dead just three hours ago! So, you know, that message was kind of weird. It was dated like a week ago. It was dated a week after I got it. This means it came from the future. He's right. The email was sent from my phone. It was printed in the three mails. Someone stab. S st bed. <laughs> Marisu K. Usu, don't. This is the email I sent you three hours ago. Oh, I dropped my phone. <laughs> A chime signals their arrival on the fifth floor. <coughs> the elevator door opens slowly. Just about the elevator, I see a girl. And I recognize her. Oh. Oh. You, 
You! Impossible. Chills run down my spine. I can't move a finger. I stare at her, I stare at her face in disbelief. Make Kurisu. Is there something wrong? Is there, uh, uh, no, a, is there something wrong? Sama. You. Sama was You should be dead. Why are you here? Sama. And you're even. There isn't a single blood stain on her clothes, and they're the same ones she was wearing when I found her. Only a serious woman can, can produce that much blood. As far as I can tell, she's completely uninjured. Not a scratch. I realize that I'm gasping in disbelief. What's wrong with you? You're okay, but that's impossible. Someone stabbed you. You're, I saw you, you lying in a pool of blood. Hey, can you not talk to me like, about, about me like that? I'm perfectly fine. Is she an illusion? No. Evil spirit? Am I haunted? And I think I'll end this for right now. Alright. Hopefully I enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time.